Close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. As for anything else, you can just let it go for the time being. You're trying to create your own space inside here. A space where the world doesn't have any rights to come in. Let it come in only when you want it to. Otherwise, you can close the door. The door has a window. You can see what's going on, but you don't have to get involved in things outside. You don't have to pull in the energy from the world outside, because you've got your own good energy here, and you want to make sure that it's strong. This is called heightening the mind, and it's an important principle in the practice. Today is Magapucha. It's one of the Buddhist holidays, main Buddhist holidays in Thailand. It celebrates the night or the afternoon, actually, early in the Buddha's teaching career. He'd taught over a thousand people to become awakened, and he was going to send them out to teach. And many of them had become awakened after hearing the Dharma only once. So he wanted to make sure that they had a complete range of teachings to go. So he spent the afternoon talking about the teachings as a whole. We don't have a recording of the, or a record of the whole talk, except for the verse that he recited at the end as it's kind of a summary. And one of the main points was this. He said, Ati jite jao yogo, being committed to the heightened mind. In other words, making, your, making up your mind that this is going to be your top priority is to create this space for your mind. Because when you have a place that's easily invaded by the world, you get to a point where your goodness depends on the goodness of other people. And that's not a very safe place to be. In other words, they come at you with anger or greed, and you return with anger and greed, well, that becomes your karma and pulls you down to their level. You want to have an independent source for your goodness. And so you create a heightened mind. You sit here watching the breath, and let the breath be comfortable. Let that sense of comfortable breath energy spread throughout the body. And that's your space. Nobody else can invade it unless you let them in. And there's no need for them to pull any energy out of you. This way, whenever the world has the affairs of the world to offer, things like material gain or loss, status, loss of status, praise, criticism, pleasures, and pains, you don't have to feed on those things. You have a better food inside. And as a result, you don't get pulled into the world, because the world spins around. And its spinning is not innocent. It spins like the gears in a machine. They have teeth. And you get, you get pulled in, pulled in, and they start beating you up, mashing you. So you want to make sure you stay away from the gears, and, and that's what the gears are. Gain, status, praise, pleasures. They pull you in, and then they turn on the other side. Because these things are related. You can't have one without the other. So create your own independent space inside. It's not that you don't feel for other people. You have compassion. But again, your compassion doesn't have to depend on their being nice. It doesn't have to depend on their being the sort of person that you ordinarily would feel compassion for. The Buddha says, have compassion for everybody who's suffering. And to do that, you have to have an independent source of well-being inside. So this is what you're creating. You're heightening the mind. So it's up above the affairs of the world. Its goodness is above the affairs of the world. And that's when it's safe. <laughs>